Well, protesters gathered today in Breonna Taylor's hometown of Louisville, Kentucky for the 100th straight day. And tomorrow, thousands of people are expected to protest outside the city's legendary Churchill Downs racetrack, where the 146th annual Kentucky Derby will be held with no fans. Many folks actually want it canceled. And there is one thoroughbred horse owner who's been under growing pressure now to pull out of the Derby in protest of the killing of Taylor. He's Greg Harbett, co-owner of the horse Necker Island, and he's here with us now to talk more about the situation that's taking place. And we should point out, Greg, um, you know, as an African-American owner, uh, it's very special for you to have a horse uh, in this derby. Um, but what right. people may not know is that there is a history of African-Americans working in racing for more than 100 years, your family included. Let's talk about that legacy. Well, as you mentioned, uh, African-Americans have made a, a great contribution to the thoroughbred racing industry. Uh, the first Kentucky Derby uh, winner was actually trained by an African-American, Anson Williamson, as well as ridden by an jo African-American jockey named Oliver Lewis. Uh, my, uh, my family has certainly made great contributions to the industry. Uh, I'm a third-generation horseman. My great-grandfather was Will Harbert, who great, gained great notoriety uh, with his association with Man of War. Uh, my grandfather, Tom Harbert, was a very successful uh, groomsman. Uh, in his era and actually owned a Kentucky Derby winner and uh, Kentucky Derby participant in 1962 by the name of Touch Bar. And we should point out that in 1962, your grandfather, Tom, wasn't even allowed to sit in the stands. That's true. Uh, due to the civil unrest and the uh, social segregation, uh, even though he was a breeder as well as the co-owner of the horse, uh, he was not allowed to be listed or uh, come to the grandstands uh, in that year. That's what makes this so much special as far as my participation with everything that's going on in the country with the civil unrest, uh, to bring awareness of the contributions that African-Americans before me have made to this industry and to show the world as well as the racing industry that African-Americans have made great contributions as well as letting the awareness be known that as African-Americans, we can participate in a sport in the industry that's not necessarily inclusive and looks like us. And, and with that point, and I wanted to make that point, let's now talk about Breonna Taylor, who was killed by police there in Louisville. And you are the rare black horse owner in a sport that is among the whitest in America. Let's just be blunt about it. And now you're being called to boycott America's most famous race. How do you feel about that? And, and what do you say to those who are putting you under pressure to do so? Well, many have called for the boycott of the Kentucky Derby as well as Churchill Downs, but no one has necessarily reached out directly to call for the boycott of Necker Island. Uh, in fact, we have received great support from the African-American community as well as other civil leaders uh, to actually stand and participate, stay in the race, and represent the African-American community in a, in a sport in which we have a long story history. So... What, what are you saying to those, though, that think that you, you shouldn't be there, that you shouldn't stand there and be present, and, and you should be out protesting? Uh, for those who say that we should not be here, I would encourage them to look at the Kentucky history. As I've stated before, Kentucky Derby history begins with African Americans. Uh, we have been erased uh, from those history books as of late. Uh, but Ray Daniels, as well as myself, have set out to bring more African-Americans into this business, to educate African-Americans, to share our history in this great sport, and to show that we can be participants in a sport that has otherwise not been inclusive to us as of late. Uh, this is a great sport. It's a $100 billion industry a year. It employs over 1 million individuals a year. And we should have a piece of this industry. Uh, when you look at the overall business uh, structure of successful companies, every business that is successful uh, is a diversified and inclusive company. Point well made. So let me ask you then, do you think athletes in the NBA and Major League Baseball were justified in boycotting games in support of the Black Lives Matter movement? Because their circumstances are, are different than yours. I think every individual has the right to make the stance that they deem best for them. Uh, as I've stated before, uh, my partner as well as myself, we stand with Black Lives Matter 
and we stand for justice for Breonna Taylor. And each individual has to take the approach that they deem that is best for them. But I think overall, there's a consensus amongst all of us uh, that we want justice for Breonna Taylor and her family. Final question, uh, Greg. There's been a debate about whether to continue the century-old tradition of singing the state song, My Old Kentucky Home, uh, at the race this year. It was announced today that the song will be played but modified and then will be preceded by a moment of silence and reflection. Is this the right decision? I think it is the right decision at this particular time. I think uh, Churchill Downs has a great board of directors. I think once we get past uh, this Kentucky Derby, I believe those board members as well as others can hopefully meet, uh, have a discussion, and come to reconciliation that may work for all parties involved as far as the future of the song and the direction that Churchill Downs will take. Greg Harbett, sure appreciate your time, and I'm going to be keeping my eye on Necker Island tomorrow. <laughs> Best of luck to you. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.